Now let's um, let's kick off. Um, for those for those who don't know me, uh, my name is Kiang. I'm one of the uh, founders here at Owner. Um, what I'm going to go through today is, is the CCS zero dollar session of care that has been injected into your session report. So I'll go through exactly the the background behind that and what you guys need to do. Okay, it's so essentially not much, but I'll go through exactly um, how it all works and and what you have to. Be mindful of uh, once your sessions are submitted at the end of this week. Um, so what has CCS has done is they've injected a $0 session of care into your attendance um, on that Monday. So to see it, all you need to do is jump into your, um, into your portal, go to session reports. And if you put in the date the 13th and then just end of the week and go all children get session report this is what you'll see okay, obviously i can't i can't show you this. this is a dummy center but you'll see something similar to this here okay so what, what you're going to see is your list of children you're going to have your reporting period september 13th to september 19th um, and then there's a session of care here of zero dollars for a period of uh 0.48 so just under half an hour so to speak and the reason why CCS have, has done this is there's the um, there's the 14 uh, week rule whereby if there are no attendances submitted, as in actual attendances, uh, not absences, CCS will automatically cease that child. Okay, so what CCS has obviously done with, with COVID and lockdown and so forth, they know that a whole bunch of children haven't attended. Um, so what they've done is um, preempted that and injected this zero dollar session of care, so that come Monday next week that child or um, however, however many children uh, fall in that category does not cease, right? So the enrollment does not cease. Um, so they put that into the system. If you're a part, if you're a part of that, those um, LGAs, and they've listed it here, uh, as you can see, if you're part of any of these, uh, if your centers is located within any of those LGAs, you should be able to see that session of care in your session report right now, right? If you don't, um, chances are you're not part of the LGA that's affected. Um, if you are, if you are in those LGAs and and you don't have that session report injected into your um, into your uh, session report, let us know um, and we can follow up as to as to why for you. Okay, but essentially, if you go to your session report now, you'll be able to see it. Um, so, what do you need to do? So what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna run through exactly uh, what you need to do, but essentially you don't have to do too much, right? Unless, um, unless you, you, you know, you're submitting your sessions uh, manually, then I'll show you exactly what you need to do. Um, taking a step back here. So this is what you'll see at your session report at the moment. Because there are session reports there already, at the end of the week, what we're gonna do is pretty much override what's there. Right. The reason being is you've got sessions that you need to submit or you've got absences that you that you want to submit and, and claim CCS for. Essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to override what's already there. Right? But to override it, we also got to make sure that we don't stuff anything up so that these children don't see, so to speak. All right. Um, so inside here, um, let's take a step back. Right. So what we're going to do is there is two rules. If there is a if you have a child attending uh, this week, right? If you have a child attending this week, you don't have to do anything at all. If you have a child who's not attending, basically what's gonna happen is if you override, if we submit your session with, with a child not attending uh, this week, what, what's gonna happen is it's gonna override that $0 session of care, so to speak, right? And then obviously mark the child's not attending. Come Monday, uh, come Monday the following week, it's gonna cease that child. Uh, for you, right? which, is, which is basically not what you want to do. So what we've done is we've built an automated system on our side, whereby it will basically submit your sessions for you automatically, and also include that $0 session of care, marking the child as attending. So that again, he resets his counter or resets her counter so that she doesn't cease on the following Monday. So let me take a step back here. Um, so I've got a couple of rules here. Update sessions this week if you're if you are affected rather than submitting your session. So if you're on if you're on automated sessions, so what that means is you've got this ticked here on your session reports. You don't have to do anything, right? The system will take that all will take care of that all for you. If you had that off though, if you had that off though, and you're submitting your sessions manually yourself, what you need to do is come into here, 
uh, under, under CCS session report, select this week's date, which is obviously the 13th, or children, or again, depending on what you want to do, select individual children or children, rather than hitting this green button here, which is what you do each week, if you're manually submitting your sessions, rather than submitting session reports, you're going to update session report. And the reason being is, is because you've got that $0 session of care ready there. Okay, there are sessions in there in the system already for this week. So all you need to do is go and tap that update session report button if you're doing it manually. If you're doing, if you have that auto submit sessions turned on, basically you don't have to do anything. The system will take care of that all for you. All right. And this is what you'll see at the end after you submitted your sessions on this page here. Um, this is a couple of examples. Okay. So the first one here is the child did not attend at all this week. There will be a, a line item of uh, uh, almost just, just under half an hour, uh, zero dollars marked as attending. Okay. So this is what keeps the child active. And then your, your sessions for the subsequent uh, week might be an absent and absent and so forth. But you will see this first line here that lists a zero dollar session of care. Um, if you have children, if, if a child has been away all this time and all, all of a sudden have, has attended this week, again, you won't see, you won't see that zero dollar session of care at the top here. It will get overwritten by your attendances this week, all right? Because you have an attendance this week for that child, come Monday, that gets reset. You now that, that 14, that 14 week um, 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 cessation period disappears and that child, that child is obviously attending this week. So it resets the counter for that particular child, all right? And that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward, I like to think. Um, again, um, while you've got me here, uh, feel free to ask any questions, but essentially two rules. If you're doing automated sessions, you don't have to do anything at all, all right? If you are manually, if you're manually submitting your sessions, make sure you update your session report rather than submitting session reports. The other thing is some centers have gone in, some centers have gone into their, their attendance report here and gone on to the Monday and added in sessions, $0 sessions into the attendance report, right? If you, if you have done that, uh, please remove that. Please remove it because the system will automatically do that for you come Friday night when the, the sessions are submitted, 